What's up, YouTube? We got another uh, edition of Motown Mail. These are my May 2015 pickups. Take two of the video. Uh, get this out of the way because it's larger. Um, <clears throat> TTM success from Blackhawks' current head coach, Coach Q, Joel Quinville, who is now Stanley Cup final bound after their beatdown last night of Anaheim. So nice to get that back. Got that back actually during his team's like week layoff in between series. So nice to get that. All the best, Philip. Joel Quinville wasn't expecting to get that back till the off season, but it was nice to get that back. Um, also a rare TT or a rare in person uh, success for me. I don't do a whole lot of in uh, in person stuff. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld was in town a couple weeks ago. I ended up buying a, an original script. I found out the original script I, or the script I had before was not actually an original, it was a reproduction. <clears throat> I wanted a real one. <coughs> Literally got this the day that I was gonna meet him. So perfect timing. Um, got a sign, Jerry Seinfeld. So that was really cool to meet him. Um, very happy with that. I'll put a little video towards the end of this as well. For some reason, when I um, when I convert the video on the computer, the sound doesn't match up right. I don't know why. I, I recorded it on my phone, but um, I'll put it on there. Maybe I'll just take the uh, audio off completely. I don't know. But anyway, got that signed in person from Jerry. Deck is actually for Deck McKenzie, who was Jerry's stand-in on the show. Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, there's like stains in here, like Cheeto stains. Like apparently Deck McKenzie was eating Cheetos on set. There's handwritten notes and everything. And it's kind of cool to go through this. And it's really nice that it's now signed by Jerry. You guys know I'm a huge Seinfeld fan. Speaking of Seinfeld, sent out like maybe seven or eight requests back in October two minor characters, got one back, the Soup Nazi, uh, Larry Thomas. This one actually showed up, surprising. I thought they were all kind of gone. Uh, Mr. Wilhelm signed for me, Richard Hurd. Signed the front, or the back, right there. It's on the other side right here, his real name. Wish he would have signed his real name on this side, but uh, he didn't, but no big deal. Happy to get that back, and kind of thought that was gone. Uh, additions to the Hall of Fame sets I'm working on. Getting harder and harder to come by ones I actually need. Apparently there's a bunch of short prints, which I'm real thrilled about. <clears throat> um, got this Carlton Fisk from 1999 Epic Signatures. Finally got a good price on that. Uh, Mo Vaughn didn't want to overpay for this. There's plenty available for sale, but they're asking too much. Finally got a good price on this one for the 99 Led or, I'm sorry, 2000 Legendary Signature set. Mo Vaughn. We wanted to autograph him for about a year now. Finally decided to pick one up. Topps Chrome Rookie Auto of reigning AL Rookie of the Year, Jose Abreu. Beautiful autograph, too. Cubs fan, but still it's fun to watch that guy play. Uh, so got that. A uh, fellow over on uh, sportscultures.net had some certified stuff for sale. Um, I was eyeing this for a couple months, and then he dropped the price again, so I decided to pick it up. On card auto from 2000 Fleer Autographics. This is the gold version, number to 50. Cal Ripken Jr. I grew up idolizing Ryan Sandberg and Cal Ripken, so it was very nice to add this to the collection. Just one off from his jersey number, which would have made it an eBay one day one. But it's not, it's number 7 of 50, so it's not. Um, so very happy with that on card auto. Nice design there. Um, got this from the same seller as well for a good price. Um, numbered 49 of 50 from Sweet Spot Signatures, Bat Barrel, the late, great Ron Santo. So, very happy with those pickups. Uh, just This is kind of a random pickup. Didn't have a certified autograph of him yet. Rod Carew, <clears throat> nice on-card auto from 2015 Museum Collection. So, nice auto right there. The 3000 Hit Club member, Rod Carew. Um, <clears throat> I already had the other Blackhawks logo. I wanted the, the Indian head um, from 2012-2013 limited monikers, Jonathan Taves, the captain. Um, I'm going to end up selling the other one, I think. Um, it's a good time to sell right now since they're in the, the finals now. So uh, I'll probably end up flipping that one. Hopefully they'll break even at least. But I wanted this one with the actual true logo. So got that, and I did end up getting the... That's number 99, by the way. I did end up getting the Patrick Kane of that as well from COMC. That will be an incoming. I'll show that off in a future video with my COMC.com pickups. Um, speaking of Blackhawks, this guy's a pretty good goaltender back in the day. Tony Esposito from Epic Signatures on Cardado. Didn't have an autograph of the Hall of Famer, so happy to add that to the collection. 
I have the Stan Makita this card as well, so it's an... nice to get those two. Um, this guy's an underrated player for what his stuff sells for. Uh, Justin Upton, this is a rookie card auto from Bowman Chrome. Blue Refractor number to 99. It does have a... F I wish the... It's got a couple imperfections on the surface. I don't grade my cards, but I wish the SAR would have mentioned that, but he didn't. I got it at a pretty good price, I think. Again, that's number 30 of 99 putting up MVP numbers this season, so still really young, fairly young, so happy to get that. Um, didn't have an autograph of this guy, former MVP Dave Parker. I did send in my 90 score for a <coughs> private, <coughs> excuse me, private signing, but he ended up getting ill. He, he doesn't have, he's not in the best health right now, um, so hopefully I'll get the 90 score done and he starts feeling better, but in the meantime, decided to pick this up, nice on-card order from 5 Star 2014. Dave Parker, same set. Got this. this. is my. This is one of my guys, Paul Goldschmidt. I'm not technically collecting him yet, but I will be picking up a few of his autos. This is a nice on-card auto from 2014, five star. This guy had a couple of dingers last night again, just putting up crazy numbers like he does always. Crazy that guy was an eighth-round pick not that long ago. Um, speaking of Goldie, got this nice on-card auto from 2014, Tribute, Tribute to the Past Time, number to 99, on-card auto, Paul Goldschmidt, beautiful card, nice auto, on-card, and from the same set, got this Jim Rice, didn't have a certified auto of Jim Rice, so I got that from the same seller as well, beautiful card. Uh, Additions to the 90 score set, uh, I sent in this card through for a consignment through Vinnie Miller on SCN. He got it done, good price. Mark Langston already had the base card, now I have the Dream Team card, so happy to knock that out. Then I got the Andres Galarraga on eBay. Fella had a whole bunch of in-person stuff that he got signed back in the uh, mid-90s. mid, mid -90s. And he had the 90 score I needed, so very happy to track that card down. Big cat. Got this for $250. Um, <clears throat> Nick Gordon. It's, I hate the card just because it's a sticker. It's, a, it's just kind of ugly. I don't like the, the sticker autos for Bowman Sterling. They just make me cringe, but I got it for less than 3 bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. One of the top 30 prospects in the game. Um, D. Gordon's brother, Tom Gordon's son. Fifth top prospect for the Twinkies right now. So I actually did get him in person a couple weeks ago. Um, not the... Not the easiest guy to get in person. He just doesn't like signing, it seems. I uh, got this underrated pitcher for the Braves, Shelby Miller. This is an on-card Sterling Auto, which I don't mind. I just hate the stickers on them. Um, so I got that for a good price, and the seller had free additional shipping, so I got this. I, I'm going to go with Ty Block. Max, you'll have to let me know if I botch that name. Ty Block, rookie auto, refractor numbered 12 of 499. <clears throat> He's like the Giants' eighth overall prospect. Got the Bears' number one draft pick this year, Kevin White, out of West Virginia. It's a Sage Auto, which I hate, because usually they're pictures on the beach and stupid looking. Um, but this is not too bad. So, Kevin White Auto, not numbered. Over on sportsquadrants.net, picked these three up just because they were cheap, good, young pitcher. <clears throat> Already having three of these, but for the price he was offering, I picked them up. Garrett Richards on three different 2010 Tops Pro debuts. Because they wouldn't be three different, they'd be three of the same. Huh? So three of those. I got TTM success from Marty Cordova, three of three. And I got three of three from Ron Gant, who is working for Good Day Atlanta, I think it's called. That's where I sent that to, the studio. So that's it. That's all I got for now, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, please stay safe.